Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Salerno, Chief Editor of Dental Economics. I'm at the 2015 ADA meeting, and I'm here with Ben Waldman, who is the Sales Director for the KFO Care Group. So, you guys won a Best of Class Award this year for your DEXAS Care Review. Congratulations! Thank you very much. We're very That's pleased. It's very exciting. Yeah, so, very pleased. Tell me about this enhanced caries detection. This involves transillumination, and when many dentists hear transillumination, they think I'm shining a light through one side of the tooth, looking for cracks. That's that's not what this is. Tell me about. No, it. no. It's it's actually it's based on the same principles that a lot of doctors are used to from school, but it's 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 uh, very very different. It's an enhanced technology, and it uses uh, near infrared red diode lasers that are in the device to actually transilluminate the tooth from the buckle. Uh, and the lingual aspect of the tooth. And what happens is, is that this light is coming in at a particular frequency so that it passes through healthy tissue yeah. and it stops and it is stopped by unhealthy tissue. So cracks, fissures, decay will block the light. And then what happens is, is that we have a camera that's in the device. So this goes on the occlusal surface yeah. and the light that is blocked shows up as dark. So it looks just like an x-ray, yeah. but we're not using any ionizing radiation. It's such a cool image. We're about to see it in a moment. It's almost, I call it like a 3D x-ray, but of course it's not, it's not an x-ray of any kind, it's, but that's how it looks, it's, right? It's just, it looks like an x-ray on the screen, but there's no ionizing radiation, so it's perfectly safe for pregnant women, for children, anybody who's sensitive to, to, to x-rays at all, sure. and patients who just want to be careful. It's perfect. So you can use it often, and you can use it on all of your patients. So tell me some of the stories you've heard, the feedback you've heard about using it as opposed to just a traditional bite wing. Yeah, so, so a, a bite wing has a limitation of we're getting a 2D x-ray from one side. So for example, if you have a recurrent decay on the buccal and lingual of an amalgam, you can't physically see it in an x-ray. The actual restoration is going to block the decay. Right. Right, so what happens is now that decay grows and grows and grows. You're taking x-rays every six months and you're not seeing it. Now all of a sudden it pokes out the mesial and distal. It looks like it's a little piece of decay. You open it up and... Oh, kablooey, yeah. Kablooey, now you have a crown. <laughs> Right, so what CareView allows you to do is to monitor it, see the location, see the size, and get to it early so that the treatment's easier and it's better for the That's patient. Great. You can be more conservative, but at the same time, you're diagnosing more. You're seeing the stuff that you aren't seeing. Exactly. Right. It's also it's brilliant for occlusal decay. Every doctor knows that you know that 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 light uh, occlusal decay that's starting to be pernicious, and, and now we can't see it on an X-ray still because it's blocked by the structure of the tooth. This is perfect for that. It's, it, it shows occlusal decay very well. So, well, let's see it in action. We, have, right. a, we have a patient. Great. Yvonne, thank you for volunteering. You're <laughs> so, do this. It's also instant, so there's no developing time, and we can do it in real time so sure. we can see um, as we're moving around. You know, once with an x ray, one of the other things is you're going to position, you're going to take a shot, and it's static. If I positioned wrong or if the patient moves, it's a problem. Right. This we're going to use in real time. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slide it in over the tooth and right on the tooth. And so you can see there's a little bit of occlusal decay there. And we go back. To the bottom arch. Now see right there is a perfect example of recurrent decay around a restoration. Wow. You wouldn't see that on an x-ray. Yeah. But you can see the size and location and, and the depth. You see the color, how yeah. it's darker. Absolutely. So the darker color means more decay. here. You can see it's very fast. So Any technique to, know, to keep in track? The mind? most important technique is that you want to make sure that this camera is right up on the occlusal surface. If you don't, what will happen is this. So what happens is, is that you want to make sure that you're right up on the, on the tooth. So you can see there's a little bit of occlusal decay there because I'm right up on the occlusal surface. If I come back, do you see how it leaches out? Yeah, what gets washed out. That's, yeah. that's maybe two millimeters off the tooth. So okay. it, it is very um, it's very important that you be right up on the tooth. Now again, there's another example of a little bit of recurrent decay, and in this case you can see it's not quite as dark, mm -hmm. so it's not quite as deep. And so we cut that one early, and then this is a perfectly clean margin. So you can see that it's, although right there, see there at the distal, mm -hmm. you see the decay on the back? Absolutely, there so, it is. And, there, and there's a good example. And that might be impossible to see on a bite wing. It probably would be impossible yeah. to see. It's, it's so slight and it's in that location that makes it very difficult. It's right around an amalgam and so you could see it was sort of tucked in there in the corner. You're going to miss it. Well, Ben Waldman and Yvonne, thank you very much. Congratulations on the 2015 win for Dexter Thank Carrier. you. Thank you very much. Thanks.